number four in the pregnancy series. So, our first exercise is dragon lunges. If you're just starting out, you don't have to use any weight. I'm going to use a little bit of weight today. You're going to step back with one foot across your body and then come down into a lunge. And then step forward, feet together. We're going to alternate sides, so you're going to step back on the other side and then forward. Make sure your weight is dropping straight down. You're not coming forward. Front knee should never go past your toes. So very similar to a regular lunge, except the step is a little bit different. You're going to cross your foot backwards. Okay? So this is going to work a little bit of balance as well as doing your lunges. It's a bicep curl to a wide bicep curl. So knees are soft, slightly bent, not locked out. You do a regular bicep curl, palms facing towards the chest, and turn the palms out. Wide bicep curl. Forward and out. going to alternate for your 50 seconds of work. If you're just starting out, it might be smart to have two sets of weights. If you want to start with a heavier weight, um, you can. And then that way, if you can't do all three sets, all three rounds with the weight, you can always drop down, excuse me, uneven squats. So this one, you're going to start with your leg elevated, one leg elevated, squat down, up and over, coming out of the camera here, but you're just going to alternate, squat down, up, over, down, up, over. You can use anything that will make your squat uneven. If you're just starting out, you can even just use a book. That way you don't have to worry about the height. Uh, obviously, the higher your structure, the more difficult it becomes. And the BOSU makes it a little bit more difficult too because it adds an element of balance since it's unstable. Last exercise is going to be incline push-ups. Um, if you're not pregnant, you can do regular push-ups. If you are, again, you want to try to avoid floor exercises. So I call these incline because my head is up. And I call decline pushes push-ups uh, when my head is down and my feet are up. I'm not really sure if that's right, but that's just how I remember it for myself. Again, if you're just starting out, these are good too. You don't have quite the strength to do regular push-ups on the floor. I'm trying to keep my body line nice and straight. I also have a wider base. It tends to make it a little bit easier. When you narrow your base, the push-up becomes a little bit more difficult. All right, round two, starting over, dragon lunges. Dropping my weight straight down. My leg is going back and across my body. want to do more advanced versions of these exercises, you can. In the past, I think I've shown the dragon lunge with a hop. So when you step forward, you lift your, I can't even do it, you lift your knee and hop up and then switch. So 
lift the knee, hop up, and then switch. That's a more difficult version if you want that. Next exercise, bicep curls, regular and wide. So, forward, out. Again, remember, I'm modifying all of these exercises now. If you want to do more difficult exercises, you can look back through some of the older videos. Or you can do these same exercises with higher weight. Make sure your movements are nice and controlled. Try not to be jerky or let it let the weights just fall. Control the down movement as well as the up. <coughs> Uneven squats again. Set your hips back, down as low as you can. Step over, other side. Set your hips back, over, and just alternate. Just like our regular squats, I want to keep my weight through my heels. Knees don't go past my toes. Sorry, I'm getting out of frame here. So you notice my stance is a lot wider on these uneven squats. One push-ups. Again, the higher your incline, the easier the push-up, too. Chair is good to use. If you find that even this is a little bit too low, you can use the wall. Start here. Okay. And then obviously, next level up would be on the mat with your knees bent and then regular push-ups. Trying to keep your body line nice and straight. Don't let your hips pop up or fall down. I don't even know if I can get my hips to sag right now. <laughs> All right, good. Last round. Starting over with dragon lunges. Cross over and back. Down. Step forward. Try and keep your balance. As with most exercises, you're going to have a dominant side, so you'll find it'll be easier to do this on one side versus the other. If you're just starting out, take your time, work on that balance. Again, you don't have to use weight if you don't want to. Bicep curls. Knees are not locked out. They're nice and soft. I call them when they're slightly bent like that. Straight forward. Turn out. Wide bicep curl. Forward. And out. Breathing, controlled movements. Good. 
Last round of uneven squats. Sitting the hips back, dropping down as low as I can. Squat. Up and over. If you want to make this more dynamic, you can make it a hop when you go over your middle point. Again, I'm taking more of the explosive elements out of these workouts because of the pregnancy. But that doesn't mean that I have to stop working out completely. Whew. All right. Last round push ups. And my feet are pretty wide apart. Just makes it a little bit easier. I really feel like my body line isn't straight. But I'm trying to keep my hips from popping up. Okay? And you don't want to just do this type of motion. Right, body line is straight, come down as far as you can, and back up. Whoop. Again, make sure you have something that's stable. <laughs> Alright, and that's your workout for today. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, good luck.